Mid hasn't been a I went up to give some greens to the chocobo, and you know what it did? started reading books that don't have any pictures. Well, if I don't come up with something soon... You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent! One down, two... So? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposed... Salvaged from the ruins? I thought that material was all but important. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry? Just so happens, there's one particular ruin that's broken into exact. What's the name back there, I'll give you What's the name? Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans, then. Here you see the Mithril engine, in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce mo Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, in other words, the reactor would overheat and... This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see. And our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern. You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a... F Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorb... The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um... I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted... Would that help? Oh, very much. I'll gather my team and head there right... Good day to you. But what about the curse? Can't you use a crystal instead? I'll be fine.
finished. You are said. Um, thanks so much for the uh ruins are just over there. Of course. Anybody home? This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideout. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way.
editor started reading books that don't have any pictures in. Well, if I don't come up with something soon. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. Excellent. And just one... Right. Right, the shield... How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop. Which is why you need a prison for the drag... I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff... The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it... I need something light. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Tomes? I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what... Right away. Let me know if you find any books worth reading. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? For a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it, as you can imagine. She's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution. Or if you might be able to say... Hmm, perhaps. It is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials none. We have, but Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most for Before the Dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order... So if we could rec... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. I shall speak to them and see if you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients. I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrate. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. That's if the other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if... Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave...
shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. We could have done with some of that on Drustinus. I doubt I would have survived that place with or without it. A trip to... So, Clive, who will accompany... All right. So, what are we fetching? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Garlic? Are you sure? Looks like the ingredients for some... Though these I... So much so, in fact, now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. Well, isn't that convenient? I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. See you later, Clive. Good luck with your research. Now, where's Tyre? There's talk that the glass game. Keep them pilgers nice and chilled. Need to stock up on these. Use. There you are, Tyre. Ah, and there you are. We shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a place like this. But if time is of the essence, perhaps we should. All right. Let's see. Meet me by the gate when you. Oi, don't touch anything. If that's what you want. And. Go on. Take it. And. Good riddance. How the hell is anyone supposed to afford that price? What can I interest you in today? Ah, oh, yes. I trust it's all here. I hope it's to your liking. That should do it. Hopefully Ty is finished too. in too much of a rush. Do you know? I think this is... <laughs> in all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me... Well, it seemed long overdue. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse. I'll ask Caramel. What is it? Oh, I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got... Has it really been fun? I remember it as if it... Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. Thank you. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us. Do you think I'd stick around? But in the spirit of sharing and... You're appreciated too. I think I ought to get these ingredients back to Tome. I'll meet you back at the hideaway. All right. I heard you the first time.
wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. How's work on the shielding progressing up? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part, I was just explaining to Taya how we might best... And now that we have all the ingredients... You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few... <laughs> what about the shielding? It's work is underway. Under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Of course. Oh, and Clive. It was good to talk. We should do it again sometime. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying play. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the... Followed by a rigorous process of testing and perhaps someone ought to walk. Leave it to me. Thank you, Ob. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. Thanks to Seed. He cracked the crystal too. started reading books that don't have any pictures. Sorry to keep you waiting, but you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for... In a manner of speaking. Hop He's supervising the... Cons Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I go into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making... Displacement stamp. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this out, Mid. You get all the parts lined up on the deck. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some pr... <laughs> It's finished! It's finally finished! Thank fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer off. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more... I'm sorry? Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. 
Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. What's the matter? Nothing. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown, searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that, and I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain.